Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, sorry if I haven't posted any videos lately um, for so many reasons. Um, but I'm back with another video. This is a beautiful Q5 2013. I've been looking for a car like this for a long time. Finally, I got the one that I like. I bought it really, really cheap and it's in perfect condition a little bit high mileage but it's really nice and i don't care about the mileage because i can fix anything myself so uh i bought this one and i drove it 1200 miles back home um black color it's a premium plus package So it has a navigation, um, all, all the beautiful like a push, push to start. Um, just you know, a lot of features, a lot of buttons. Uh, it's luxury, it's really luxury, and it's really comfortable when you drive it. Um, there's no comparison to uh, an i4. You can't compare that uh, at all because it's just really comfortable okay in perfect condition um, so I bought it and I drove it as I said 1200 miles uh, to Seattle uh, where I live and um, for the most part uh, it was reliable nice and nothing wrong with it uh, except that when you're uh, when you're going uphill uh, you feel a little bit of drag and you feel that uh, it's a uh, it's weak so you know I checked the uh, the engine and uh, this is what I found out I mean uh, of course it has all these parts uh, but I took them off uh, so the first problem that I found I don't think that caused the, this but uh, let me see if I can I am out of focus. Let me see. Okay, here. Okay, here where my finger is. Um, I should have. I should have a stud like this one, but this one is broken. This one here is broken. Okay, I have to remove that. Get it out. So that's the first problem. Uh, even though I don't think that was the reason it was um, weak on uh, on the uphill okay so the problem was this it's a uh, I want to show you without blocking the so anyway it's it's I can't see what I'm showing, so I have to see what I'm showing. So anyway, it's 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 enough to, you know, to be weak. So I just ordered the new turbo. I'm gonna uh, put a new turbo. I'll make sure I'll uh, I'll post the link uh, below so that you know, if I try it and it works perfect, then I'll uh, put a link. And but before you try this one, before you even remove your before you remove your turbo, if you have a drag and if you have uh, your under boost, so this is what you need to do. You need to remove this one uh, from the turbo, I think from the other side, and uh, uh, just make sure that you have this version. Okay? This is the upgrade, this is the update, and if you have a different version, it might be broken and that could cause an ender boost also so the first thing you want to do remove this one make sure that it's like this if it's like this then uh, then you most likely have a have a problem with the turbo okay so if you guys uh, want to see uh, the installation just uh, let me know and I'll uh, I'll install it and I'll film it so that you can benefit from it and here you go 
I'll just leave you with this green and have a wonderful day. Please, if you like this video, like it. If you love it, subscribe. And it's your likes and shares and subscriptions that helps me and gives me that desire to keep going. And uh, without it, um, I, I can't keep going. So please help me and encourage me uh, to do more videos. Uh, my videos are not uh, mainly for quantity, uh, they're for quality. So whenever I post a video, it's to solve a problem. I do not just post a video just to put a video, okay? I post a video to solve a problem. So please help me, I need your help, I need your support. And I promise you guys that what's coming next, it's gonna be amazing, okay? Thanks guys for watching and have a wonderful day.